What is going on YouTube? Fitness Kenshul here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. First and foremost, before I start this video, um, a lot of good guys know that have been following me either on Instagram, Snapchat, or on my YouTube channel. You guys know that I'm preparing for a bulk. Um, so I am creating a new split that I want to follow. Um, if any of you guys are interested, that will be on my website, uh, hopefully by the end of, the, of this week. Um, I just want to make it clear, the focuses that I'm trying, or the, the main body parts that I'm trying to focus on bringing up during this bulk is going to be legs, chest, and triceps. Triceps, yes, and triceps. And I'll throw a little bit of more traps here and, and there into the program as well. So if you're someone who's looking to build or bring up those body parts that you're bulking as well uh, soon, be sure to look out for that program. It'll be on my website. I'll put the, my website down below. Um, and don't remember, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to hit that red subscribe button. You are not going to be disappointed. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. So uh, I usually like giving you guys a lot of tips as far as what I use and what actually works for me um, to make the most amount of gains that I've made you know, in the, in the past four to five years that I've been actually training. Um, but let's say you're at the gym and you're pressed for time and it's biceps and you want to hit all heads of your biceps. Now, if, we all know, if you know the, the anatomy of the biceps, I'll get a little bit closer here. So we have the short head, which is right here. We have the long head right here. So once you see that little uh, that little bump right here, that's the short, and then this is the long head. So the majority of the bicep is the long head, and then we got the bright uh, the biceps uh, brachii or brachialis is right here, pretty much your forearm, right? So we know if we do pretty much, if we do preacher curls that we go pretty close right here, we get that long head of the of the biceps engaged. And if we go real wide, forcing our elf, our, our our wrist to go out this way, we get the, the short head engaged. And then, you know, the popular hammer curls in order to get the, the forearms or the biceps brachialis engaged. Now, if you just want one movement, this is the complete bicep curl, in my opinion, that's gonna get all three heads of your biceps. So, here's what you're gonna do. When you're doing your bicep curls, you're pretty much gonna try to grab a couple dumbbells, maybe fairly heavy, but not too light. You don't want it to get to a point where you're actually struggling. You don't want to, you're not trying to go for one rep max. You're trying to go with a slow tempo, trying to feel every part of the contraction of these three heads when you're actually performing this movement. So when you're coming up, you're thinking, bringing that dumbbell close to your chest. So once it gets to like maybe halfway towards your chest, you're gonna twist out a little bit outward. So you get, again, get that short head engaged. And then as soon as you get outward, and, and you already have that contraction, now you're gonna twist the arm back to a hammer curl and slowly come down to get the forearms engaged and just repeat. You're gonna repeat it in a slow, controlled tempo because again, the faster you go, the more you're gonna miss the contraction. Uh, think of this movement as uh, if you were doing real delt flies. If you did a real delt fly, you just went like this, just threw them back, boom. You may, your traps may take over the entire movement um, and you and I may not even feel it in your rear delt. So those are, this is a movement that has to be performed slow and controlled in order so you can feel it in all three heads of your biceps. Therefore, that, that means it'll become that much more effective. Um, the re another reason why you want to do it slow is because you want to you pretty much concentrate on when you're going to have to twist your wrists. You know, if you twist it a little bit too late, like let's say you go all the way to the top and then you twist, you may not feel it at uh, your short head. Um, that's why you got to actually pretty much distribute the tension equally so that all muscle groups or all part of the muscle is actually feeling the same amount of tension, all right? So again, pick a light, moderate weight um, that you can control, that you can control in a slow tempo. You're not good, you're not going for a one rep max, um, but you don't want to get about 20 reps either. You want to get anywhere around maybe comfortably eight to 12 reps per arm feeling that contraction on all three heads of the biceps, all right? So I hope you guys enjoy that tutorial and that video because again, I'm giving you my secrets as far as stuff that works for me when I'm pressed for time, stuff that you guys can incorporate in the gym. Maybe it's something that'll help you bring up your arms because other exercises have not worked for you. So if you like that tutorial, please, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Please be sure to look out for my new Lean Boat program that I'll be releasing this upcoming week. Comment below. If you have any questions as far as that exercise that I just performed, new to the channel, rest subscribe button will be right here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.